Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to my Nexus 7 L Preview Root Tutorial. And yeah, this is the LPX 13 um, D kernel, which will be installed on this device. So yeah, when you're running um, the third developer pre preview, uh, which is called LPX 13 uh, D, then you can root this device with a latest Super SU and um, yeah, before we get started, just make sure you download all the files from the description below. Um, I can show you how these um, are called. So this is the um, the Nexus 7 Razor LPX kernel. I hope you can see it on my on my PC there. Um, so this is the kernel. This is the update Super SU version 2.14.zip. And you also have to um, download your latest open recovery for your Nexus 7 tablet. So yeah, when you downloaded these from the description, you can now go on and watch, watch this video. So yeah, I almost forgot it. Um, also go ahead and uh, download the fastboot.zip for your device. Link will be also in the description for your Nexus 7 2013 Wi-Fi only model. And now we can go ahead and boot this device to, to a fast boot mode, which is really easy. Just uh, go ahead and power off your device, shut it down. And when it shut down, um, press and hold volume down and power at the same time when the Google logo appears. Let go of uh, the power button and now you're in a fast boot menu. You can see power off and uh, also the other things. Restart bootloader and yeah, set your device aside. And now we want to start the process. Go to your download directory. So go ahead and go to your download directory and make sure you have um, downloaded the, the next 7 Razer kernel. Uh, which is this and the fastboot.zip and the super su which i will show you in some seconds which is here and um, yeah go ahead and um, unzip this kernel uh, 7 zip and go ahead and unzip it then go to your folder kernel boot image Go ahead and uh, copy it to your fastboot folder, which is this one, fastboot.zip. So also unzip it. Go to your uh, fastboot folder now, which will be here. Then paste the file, the boot.image to this folder. And make sure you're still in the um, fastboot uh, mode. And then you have to open a command prompt, which is really easy. Just hold the shift button and the um, right click on your mouse and then go to open command prompt here. Then go to the um, instruction site I posted in the description. Then, um, then go ahead and uh, copy and paste this prompt this uh, code copy it and go to your to your um, cmd to your command prompt then go to paste and it's already finished you don't have to press any return button and now you can unplug your device you can also follow the instruction site uh, while watching this video and um, we want to proceed and enter the recovery. So now we have to install the recovery, which is Trap Recovery Team and Recovery Project. So close the command prompt and then go to your download directory. Um, fast boot. So I already prepared this one. Let's go ahead and delete the boot image. This is the open recovery twerp. Um, I will also post the link in the description. You should already download it, uh, have downloaded the open recovery uh, twerp uh, 2.8.0.1.
then go to the team and project site and um so yeah download basically you can follow this um these instructions um paste it in the fastboot uh, folder and um copy and paste this code then go to the folder call open command prompt once again paste the code and before uh, press enter you have to actually go ahead and rename it uh, no don't rename it but um, copy the the exact name of the recovery then delete this recovery file name and paste the real file name here then press return and you now should have the latest team and recovery project on your device that means you can now disconnect your device from usb then go to recovery mode wait a few seconds now we should get the team and recovery intro screen yeah, worked. So that's really great. And um, to prevent this device from deleting this recovery project, which appears um, to happen on most stock uh, stock stock ROMs, um, you now have to go mount system, then go to home button, then go to advanced then go to file manager then go to system then go to recovery from boot recovery from boot then go ahead and rename it to back point b a k so delete the letter which is behind the dot the period and yeah, rename it like this, then press on go and swipe to confirm. So that's done. Go back, go back, go back. And yeah, let's uh, proceed to the next step. Now you go back to your instruction site, which is on uh, the uh, tutu android.net. You can see the instruction site link in the description of course and um, now we want to enter recovery once again which is team and recovery project and now we want to install the zip of super su so now just go ahead and reboot the device reboot system no we don't want to install it now and now we want to reboot our device and while it's rebooting we can check if we have successfully downloaded um successfully downloaded our um update super su version 2.14 i think i have it in the folder here so this is the update super su version blah blah go to um to copy and then go to your device storage. So uh, connect it to your PC again. And your um, tablet looks like this. Welcome screen. But um, you can access your internal storage, of course. That means just paste it in your internal storage, which is really fast because this, this um, update super SU is really really small file now we can uh, close our internal storage and now we can close everything else and now we want to grab our device again and now we want to power it off shutting down the next 7 2013 Wi-Fi only so this um, instruction 
instructions videos for Wi-Fi only device, which has the code name flow. And to access recovery, press and hold volume up and power at the same time. And when the Google logo appears, um, press and hold the uh, vol volume up only. Google logo appears, volume up, and our recovery should still be there, which is the case. And I'm very happy about that because um, I have made several tries before and it just doesn't work when you don't do the system thing there. Uh, the rename to dot back um, update super su version 2. Point blah blah dot zip. Swipe to confirm flash and yeah, this should be it. You can also wipe cache and devic. Yeah, you can do that, but you don't have to. Reboot system and I'll see you in a second. Hey guys, I'm glad that you're still hanging with me. This is my home screen. Um, Nexus 7 developer preview, you know the deal. I don't have to uh, stress that uh, one once more. <laughs> Just want to go ahead and check my my root checker basic uh, for our root our root axis uh really have to get something to eat i don't know if i can um do this video 10 minutes more uh, i don't know what i'm saying right now i <laughs> just am very hungry root checker installing great super su is installed i didn't uh, show you that uh, SuperSU is now installed on your device so it successfully installed SuperSU um, in recovery project so now go ahead open root checker and uh, agree to this uh, I don't know what it is just go ahead and OK verify root wait for super user request press on grant and congratulations your device has now root access. Great. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day and keep up the support. I love it. You guys are great. And if you have a question, just post it in the comments. And yeah, have fun with your Nexus 7. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.